Today, we learned a little more about these five lives, but nothing that can help anyone understand why they were taken. 51-year-old Maxine Davison was her son's first victim, then Lee Martin and his three-year-old daughter Sophie. We now know Stephen Washington was a 59-year-old carer out for a walk when he was attacked. And this is 66-year-old Kate Shepherd, a retired teacher who died of her injuries in hospital. Not everybody in Keyham knew them personally, but most are still trying to process their loss. This is a quiet, close community clinging together. We left our candles We've here last night, but we just wanted to relight what was already here to keep it burning. Everyone's come together and shown their support. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it won't just be today, it'll be no. for a long time to yeah. come. Yeah. Barbara works in the local supermarket, and here she says that means you get to know everyone. Lee Martin and Maxine Davison were two of her regulars. She was a lovely lady. I loved her. She was really nice and very kind lady. And things like this doesn't happen in Plymouth. Caitlin is still trying to process what she witnessed that evening. After seeing one of the victims being given CPR in the street, her first thought was to rush to the nearest playground and help get children inside. I definitely think people are angry and frustrated as to why this could have happened and why they couldn't see anything before. 22-year-old Jake Davison was in legal possession of a shotgun and a shotgun licence. There are now questions about why both had been returned to him by police weeks before he carried out his deadly attack. Were the checks done correctly? But the Home Secretary wasn't giving any answers today. She visited Kiam to lay flowers and offer her condolences to people who live here. Okay, so a lot of people will be affected by this as well. I mean, it's tragic beyond words, really, really tragic, for, for a range of reasons and obviously those involved. Forensics officers were today focused on finding answers as the police watchdog began its own investigation into how their force handled this case. How on earth did he get a gun licence in the first place? What background checks uh, were done? So I'm glad there's the um, investigation already into why the licence was returned. I do think there's wider questions here. But today was about remembering the people who died. Plymouth Argyle held a minute's silence before their home game. It is quiet too in Keyham. This is a community still very much in shock. I think over the coming days, people will continue to come together to show their support. The Bishop of Exeter has written a special prayer for the victims, and that will be read at church services across Devon tomorrow. There'll also be a minute's silence in their memory at 11 o'clock on Monday morning. Look, there has been a real sense of sadness here today, as you'd expect, but there's also been a sense of solidarity, and I think that's something that we'll be seeing more of in the days and weeks to come.